Hey Internet, my name is Abby and welcome back to Take On Mars. Today we are going to launch our second large rover and we will land this rover in Isidus Planitia in order to tackle science mission REV 4578 because this science mission has an analyzer with a data recovery tool and so I hope we can find another old spacecraft on the surface of Mars and I like to use the same rover model as I used for the B large one. However, I like to um, now I'm totally distracted. That'd be large too. Okay, however, I like to modify this vehicle just a little bit because I like to use this time the large thermal generator. So at first I have to select the small thermal generator in order to remove all the small thermal generators from my rover. Okay, and now I can select the large one and wow, this thing is really large. This thing is really a large thermal generator. Okay, now it's time to launch the B large 2 and yeah, I think this is okay. So here we go. Here we go. We will now land in Isidus Planitia with the B large 2 and well, the rover is still inside the capsule and okay, heat shield jettison. So this is Isidus Planitia. Um, this region features uh, some smaller craters. That's cool. And we are going to land apparently in this smaller crater down there. That's cool. Okay, Sky Crane, easy, easy. You are missing your target. Um, easy, Sky Crane, easy, Sky Crane. Ooh, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, our, our rover, our second rover is now descending on the Sky Crane. And oh dear, the Sky Crane is now lowering our rover. Oh wow. Ugh, and uh, I hope it oh it will land the rover uh, next to the to the crater rim easy 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 okay the rover is on the surface of Mars and there goes our sky crane and well so much about our sky crane the sky crane crashed inside the smaller crater okay so well at least our oh there's the the capsule. So a lot of things are landed inside the smaller crater. The debris of our sky crane, our capsule, the parachute. Okay, time to switch to the interior view. And what should we do at first? Well, at first I think I like to connect to the satellite. And yeah, there's our rover. And now mission, science mission rev 4578. Photo. Okay, maybe I need to turn a little bit around so that we are facing downwards and I can select the mast system or better the camera and catching and catching so we are taking a few pictures of the crater rim okay and I can turn around and catching okay very good photo now I need to take a photo of this area down there okay let me zoom in on it. Hey, there is there's some there's something on the ground. Okay, it's a little bit shaky, so I will just take the picture. Maybe this is a, a crashed spacecraft. Wow, this is exciting. Maybe this is a crashed space probe. Okay, now what should I do next? Explore. Yeah, I, I have to approach this area. Okay, easy, easy. This is exciting, this is exciting. Maybe we have found a, a crashed spacecraft. Maybe it's a, the Beagle spacecraft. That's cool. It's really exciting. Okay, um, don't crash with these rocks. And what do we have over here? This is a part of our sky crane. Uh, so maybe we have placed some some sky, sky crane debris right next to yeah this might be a, a part of our sky crane so okay now we have also some some sky crane debris next to to the debris of the the old spacecraft okay that's interesting <laughs> that's very interesting 
Okay, um, yeah, this is definitely a crashed spacecraft. That's cute. So we can approach this and... Easy, so many rocks. Explore complete. Now I need to take a picture of it. So I can now zoom in. Yeah, there are some, some solar arrays. Okay, let's take a picture. Yeah, there are some solar arrays. This could have been the, the probe core. Maybe over here are some instruments also. Wow, that's cute. Cool. That's really cute. Cool. Okay, now I need to analyze. What do I need to do? I need to use the data recovery tool. Okay, uh, maybe I should use the hazard avoidance camera to approach the, the crashed probe. Okay, easy, easy. Okay, forward, forward, easy, 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 easy. Easy. Okay, maybe this is maybe a little bit too close. Okay, this could be good. Zoom. Now I can start to deploy my robotic arm. And I need the data recovery tool. Okay, I can turn it around. And where is the data recovery tool? I can't see something right now. Uh... Oh, it's already pointing upwards. This is good. Or it's already pointing into the right direction. This is good. So I can now select the tool, data recovery tool, and maybe the hazard avoidance camera. Okay. We are deploying the arm. Very good, very good. Okay. Easy, easy. Just a few centimeters. Okay, it's now ready. So I can now start to recover some data. Uh, let us enjoy this from the outside. Okay. That's cute. Cool. That's cute. Cool. Neat. That's really neat. And yeah, okay, over there are some more parts of our sky crane. Okay, here is this is really the a junkyard on the surface of Mars, more or less. A uh, crashed old space probe. A crashed sky crane and well our capsule and the parachute so much debris on the surface of Mars oh dear oh dear okay we are now recovering some data that's really great and oh we are already deciphering the data very good okay analyze complete no mission assigned so we have now completed we have now completed uh, the science, science mission. That's cool. And we found uh, the next spacecraft, the next old spacecraft on the surface of Mars. This is cool. This is really cool. I like this. I like these missions when you really can find some old things on the surface of Mars. This is really cool. This is, this is a lot of fun. Okay, now I like to stew my robotic arm and then I like to... RX here, explore or inspect a little bit more of the, the debris of our sky crane. But at first I like to stew the robotic arm. And... very good. Okay, now I just like to see this. Okay, yeah, here is some... some debris. There are several solar arrays. I think this was definitely... Uh, I think this was definitely the probe core. So here are maybe some some instruments, and this ha could have been some kind of robotic arm. That's interesting. So yeah, this is a probe core. Wow, that's cute. Cool. That's really cute. Cool. That's that's amazing. Yeah, there's even a, a solar array on the rock. Maybe the the poor spacecraft crashed directly on this rock and well was disintegrated upon impact okay speaking about uh, no this was the wrong control speaking about disintegrating and uh, destroying spacecraft oh dear here are so many rocks maybe i not not the the hazard avoidance camera could be a little bit more beneficial to get out of this oh dear uh, don't crash your your wheels Ugh, to get out of this Okay, very good, very good. Okay, easy. So, let us investigate 
there. The sky crane debris. Okay, what do we have over here? Uh, let me zoom in on this. So, here are some... Some motors or so, some rocket motors, or what is this? I've no idea. This could be the, the core. Here is maybe a thruster. Some more debris. Some struts or so. Okay, so I think... Here, these are the last things from our sky crane. That's interesting, that's really interesting. Okay, um, speaking about interesting things, I'd like now to drive out of this crater while we are driving next to the debris of our sky crane. Um, because I like to take a look around, I like to see a little bit more of the of the surrounding of the Oh, there's another debris, piece of debris directly in front of us. Hi. Okay, um, because I'd like to see a little bit more about the Isidus Planitia. Okay, we are on the upper right part of the Isidus, or of the map. I hope I can drive out of there. The temperature, minus 0.8 degrees Celsius, so quite warm. The air pressure is 567.1 Pascal. Very cool, very cool. Okay, we are now driving out of this crater. There's a rock coming up. Oh, I hope I can... Ooh, uh, this looks a little bit dangerous. Maybe, wait, maybe I should... Back off just a little bit, easy, easy, easy. And now maybe a little bit to the left. I hope this will help me to, yeah, 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 no, no, no. Like this, I hope I fit through, yeah, this is looking good, this is good. Okay, now we can enjoy the view. So what do we have over there? There seems to be another crater. Wow, this is quite a large crater with very steep crater rims. Okay, that's interesting. So yeah, this is Initia Plan... no, Isidus Planitia. Everybody, Isidus Planitia are very interesting. There's maybe a heat shield. A very interesting desert landscape. A very interesting area on the surface of Mars. Very cool, very cool. Okay, um, it's maybe something in this direction. No. Looks rather flat. Okay, well, that's cool. That's really cool. Okay. So we have completed the next large rover mission. We found the next crashed spacecraft, the next old spacecraft. Okay, I can now disconnect from my rover and... Um, at first, objectives. Yeah, old technology. We have completed all the objectives for the old technology. And okay, what can we do next? What can we do next? And there be Mars orbit. At a circular close orbit around Mars, it is ideal for mapping of its surface. All of this, all of, what? I haven't completed any of these missions. What are you saying, game? That's strange. But okay, there's a Mars orbit. I'd like to launch something into the Mars orbit. This would be great. That's cool. That's new. That's definitely new. Okay, um... You see this planitia. There are two missions. I can't select Zebi Large 2. Um, oh yeah, uh, I need to do an analysis with a microscope. And Zebi Large 2 has no microscope. That's sad. Um... Science mission REV 1730. I can use Zebi Large 2. This is good. Major verse 50k. Minor verse 10k. Um, why should I ever do this? This is this is no reward at all. And it looks like quite a distance. So I'm not quite sure if I really like to to drive this distance. But okay. Um, can we do maybe something else? Well, we have completed the Ptolemaeus crater. And... Well, we have already seen quite a lot of the South Polar Cap, of the Kaiser Crater, 
the Victoria Crater and the Gale Crater and the Light Crater, but we haven't seen so much of the North Polar Cap, but I think, well, the landing site is still on the shadow side, so I don't think that we can really see so much, so this is also not so interesting. So what else can we do? Um, Dimus. Ha, huh, unfortunately the landing site is in the shadow. So I don't think this would be so interesting to fly around with our probe because we can't see so much. Okay, what else? Um, low Earth orbit and Mars Island. Wow, this is new. The Mars Island is a location where vehicles and equipment for a manned mission to Mars are tested prior to, be se to being sent. Okay, a small island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. That's interesting. And low Earth orbit at an orbital height of 421 kilometers above the Earth and moving at 7.66 kilometers per second, this low Earth orbital pass is where the International Space Station is situated. Providing an excellent testing ground for zero-gravity zero experiments as well as an entry point for manned outer space missions. All missions in this location have been completed. What are you talking about? I haven't completed any of these missions. I like to, I like to, can I, can I research something new? Are there some, no, there are no new research projects. I like to launch something into, into low Earth orbit. This would be cool, or I like to do something on Mars Island. That's great. Okay, then we do have the moon. And no moon orbit. That's sad. Uh, no lunar orbit. Um, Earth only, okay, I have read already this, this. And all missions, well, I haven't completed any of this, these missions. What are you talking about, game? Um, then, the main asteroid belt. Yeah, okay, main asteroid belt. Um, hmm. Is there maybe something? I think all of these missions are still in the shadow. Um, well, although the, the main asteroid belt isn't so interesting right now. Because, well, everything is in the shadow, and now we are back at Mars. So, um, yeah, I think we can't really do something today. Well, um, of course, I could tackle Science Mission Rev 1730, but I think, well, uh, at first, uh, let me just assign that we large two to this, and now let me connect to the vehicle. Okay, here we are, and um, mission, science mission. I need to drive um, 824 meters. Okay, this is really a longish drive. So I think I will do this off camera. And well, I think now is a good point to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun to discover the next spacecraft, the next old spacecraft on the surface of Mars. And I hope you will be joining me in the next episode on of Take on Mars. In this case, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Abby. See you.